Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is LJ and today I want to share with you my affordable shower routine. Now, let's start with my first step of my shower routine, which is taking care of my oral hygiene. This is something I always prioritize, so as soon as I enter the shower, I make sure to brush my teeth. Recently, I found a toothpaste that I absolutely love. It's the Crest 3D White Toothpaste. Before I get in the shower, I like to set a relaxing mood by lighting up a candle. I recently got this amazing candle by replica and it just smells so good like if you guys haven't tried it i would highly recommend trying it out not only does it create that pleasant ambiance but it keeps the bathroom smelling good throughout the shower now let's move on to the next step of my shower routine after lighting up the candle i like to hop in the shower but before i let the water run on my body i've been recently using dry brushing as a technique to help keep my skin feeling soft now onto the main part of my shower routine is washing my body so i like to first start with a bar soap one of my favorites is the raw sugar body soap in the lemon scent let me tell you this smells really good but not only that it literally makes my skin feel super cleansed like after using the bar soap i feel like my body is squeaky clean Now, typically for my body wash, I like to use an African net sponge, but I couldn't find the exact sponge, so I decided to settle for an exfoliating bath cloth instead. And I like to pair this cloth with my favorite body wash, which is the Olay Cleansing and Firming Body Wash. This specific one has vitamin B3 and collagen, which is great for the skin, but the smell is just so good. Like, it smells like mangoes. I'm not sure if there are actual ingredients in the body wash that is from mangoes, but that's definitely what it reminds me of and I just love the refreshing scent. So I just like to take some of the body wash and lather it up with the bath cloth. Then I go ahead and wash my entire body with it. I also like to pair this body wash with the Olay body scrub and I usually like incorporating a body scrub because it mainly focuses on getting rid of the dead skin cells on my skin, leaving my skin feeling really smooth. This body scrub is a little bit different from the gentle products that I usually use. It's more on the scrubby side, meaning it has more of those coarse particles, which work well to exfoliate the skin. And I feel like it's perfect if you're looking for really soft and rejuvenated skin. The main areas that I like to focus the body scrub is mainly on my arms and legs because these areas of my skin tend to be the driest parts of my body. So giving them a little extra care and exfoliation helps to keep them feeling smooth and it also helps to keep them moisturized. Another thing that I love incorporating in my shower routine is using a gentle, non-irritating feminine wash. I've been using this one for quite a while. It's the Always Cleanse Feminine Wash because it doesn't have any fragrance, which is perfect for me, and it also helps to maintain a balanced pH. It helps keep my intimate areas clean throughout the day. Now, let's talk about shaving. I usually always use the Venus Moisturizing Razor because you don't need a shaving cream with this razor because it already has that moisturizing feature. This is really beneficial for those of us who have sensitive skin, for instance, like me. I always used to get irritated after shaving, but since I started using this razor, I find that I don't need to use aftershave anymore it saves me time and it prevents any unwanted discomfort after the shower i always like to make sure to take care of my skin let me know in the comments if you guys like doing your skincare after or before showering for me i like to do it after when it comes to skincare i like to start with a gentle cleanser but if i have makeup on or i've been wearing spf i usually start with a gel cleanser then i go in with a gentle cleanser to double cleanse but for today's routine i'm using only a gentle cleanser which is a simple micellar facial gel wash this gel wash is more on the hydrating side which is perfect for dry and sensitive skin it also deeply cleanses your skin without making it feel tight 
which is something I usually look for in a gentle cleanser. So I like to cleanse for at least 60 seconds and then wash it off. Then I go in with the toner. Recently I started using this Elf Skin Milk Toner, which I feel like is great for my dry skin. And I've been actually really liking it. I find that using a cotton pad with it helps to bring back moisture on my skin, leaving it very hydrated. So I just like to apply this all over my skin before moving on to the next steps. Then next, I move on to a retinol serum. So this is something new that I've incorporated in my skincare routine. And one that has easily become my favorite is the Neutrogena Retinol Oil. So I usually apply it immediately after toning the skin because I find that it absorbs better without a moisturizer. And this step has really made a big difference in the texture of my skin, making it really smooth and healthy. And of course, we cannot forget about taking care of our skin with collagen. That's why I really love using the L'Oreal Collagen and moisture cream so this is a cream it's very thick and super hydrating and the best part about it is that it's affordable but it feels like a luxurious cream it's definitely worth every penny plus the fact that it's affordable makes it even better and taking care of our skin doesn't have to break the bank and this moisturizer proves that and if you didn't know one of my favorite deodorants is by native what I love about it is that it doesn't contain any aluminum so it's more on the natural side for a deodorant and it does a really great job at keeping me odor free throughout the day or throughout the night as far as moisturizers i recently tried the avino sheer hydration daily moisturizing body lotion this lotion is amazing because it quickly absorbs into the skin so you don't have to wait around for it to dry but i do feel like it's not moisturizing enough to keep my skin super hydrated for the entire day or using it at night so i usually like to pair it with avino's moisturizing oil mist so when i bought this it said that it was unscented but it turns out that it does have a scent and it smells really good. The scent is very subtle with a hint of something sweet. It's just amazing and I would highly recommend pairing these two up together. Using both of these products together helps you lock in all the moisture. It leaves your skin feeling super soft. I think it's a great combination to make sure that the skin stays hydrated and nourished. And I love the way my skin feels after using these products and the subtle scent is just an added bonus. If you haven't caught up with my previous weekly diaries then definitely watch it right here i really hope you guys enjoyed these videos but other than that i will see you guys in my next video K -L -J, welcome to a channel where it's